Okay, so let's talk a little bit about what to do with your new guests. I mean, if you're connecting guests, then you have to develop a strategy for growing them. I remember a phrase I used to hear a lot in the early years of my ministry. They would say, we are taking the land. It was a reference to Joshua and the idea of entering into the promised land. I mean, I just couldn't shake this question. Now that we're taking the land, what are we building on it? I mean, people are committing their lives to Christ. They're opening up their hearts to us. And the question becomes, what are we doing with them? I mean, it's the difference between conceiving a child and raising a child. I mean, I'm glad people are getting saved. I'm glad people are calling your church home. But now what? You need a process or a system to help them grow. I'm Mario Nieves. I'm the founder of Thrive Church Coaching. And I'm also the discipleship pastor at Christ Tabernacle. In my last video, I gave you my number one tip for connecting guests. And I want to thank you for sharing your comments and giving me feedback. In this video, I want to share with you our full-on process for helping people grow. We call it attending to belonging. This is a complete brain dump of our process. So if you don't have a pen and paper, pause this video, go get one, and come back. In the last five years, or really the last two years, we've seen some incredible growth in, pre in people. And part of it has been because of this discipleship process that we've kind of put together that I'm going to unpack for you in the next couple of minutes. And we call this process our growth track. And really, it starts with this idea of a funnel. And so this is kind of my funnel. I'm not the best artist in the world, uh, but you're going to kind of use your imagination, make believe this is a funnel. And so really the idea is that on the top of the funnel, as many people as possible can get into the process. But it narrows down as it goes down. And so we've kind of used this as the concept for discipleship. We want as many people to join the discipleship process. But we recognize that over some time, there's got to be some challenges to really stretch their faith, to challenge them in their growth. And that's what this funnel kind of represents. And so we called it officially the growth track. But internally, we use this language where we call it from altar to elder. And in essence, what we're really saying is, hey, through this process, someone can get saved. And then over some time, go through this discipleship process that's going to eventually mature them in their faith so that they can be what we call an elder or a pastor or a deacon. Now, in essence, what we're really saying is, hey, we want them to grow. We don't just want them to get saved and stay in that place where they are. We want them to get saved and then we want them to become mature, fully mature. And so here's the process. We broke it up into four, pretty much four areas. I kind of took this a little bit from the major leagues. So the major leagues, they've got uh, four areas. You've got the majors, where the superstars play. Then you've got AAA, AA, single A. And so as you move up from single A to double A, in between each level, there's what's called scouts. And what these scouts are doing is they're just watching for talent. And so we've kind of said, hey, we want to make sure that we're watching for quote unquote spiritual talent. Who are the people who God has their hand on? Who are the people who've shown a passion for teaching or a passion for leading or a passion in certain areas? Let's identify those guys. Let's pour into them. I heard this a long time ago. You never pour into a cup that has a hole in the bottom. And so all I'm kind of saying with that is, hey, whoever you're going to spend your time with, make sure that they've shown a propensity for leading, for growing, for maturity. Because at the end, you don't want to pour into a cup that has a hole in the bottom. And for that reason, we've assigned scouts. We've got people who just have their eyes open. Hey, who's growing? Who's maturing? Who's attending? Who's making certain decisions? Who's in ministry? And that's part of the process of scouting. And so the first level here is for non-members. And so as a non-member, there's a couple of things you can do. You can become, you can participate in getting started. Getting started is our actual uh, membership process. Up here, we also have our life groups. We've made our life groups or our small groups available to everyone, not just to a select group, but to everyone. And so what the life groups really do for us is it helps us build community. And we found that there's a ton of people who actually, their first uh, uh, meeting, their first time just having some interaction with Christ's Tabernacle has been through the life groups and not through a service. And then we've got other opportunities here like Elizabeth's Embrace and other outreaches, the Legacy Center, and all of these are just outreaches to the community. So this is their first opportunity to have an interaction with Christ's Tabernacle. And again, these are all geared for non-members. The second level is for members. And here, the first kind of like level in the second level is what we have our No Place Like Home groups. And what No Place Like Home groups is, is really what we call our detox. 
And uh, we, again, internal language. So please don't share it with anyone. It's all internal. And the idea of this detox is this. People come into the church with certain baggages. And so we want to help unravel those baggages and handle those things because what happens is toxicity inside of a person is transferable so if a person comes into our church and they've got toxic emotions and toxic feelings about church structure guess what they can infect other people and so this class is created purposefully to inject DNA and inject proper values and passions so people can begin to let go forgive remove whatever it is that they've been dealing with in the past and begin to become more of what we want to call a proper or an effective member and so that's part of the no place like home group part of the uh, detoxing process is also what we call our financial peace university class and I know you probably know financial peace university as Dave Ramsey and so yeah it's financial principles but part of it is about renewing your mind especially when it comes to monies because the reality is as a church we do a ton of activities which require money and so one of the things that we say is, hey, we want to renew people's minds. We want them to go from being quick to hold on to their money to being generous. And you can't be generous if you don't have any money. And so Financial Peace University helps uh, uh, detoxify some of that thought process and help people to manage their monies effectively, help them steward it God's way. In this second level also, members, we have our in-depth Bible study class, and we call it Level 1. And the reason we call it level one is because we've got another level that happens at a later point in time. But in level one, we teach classes like, you know, how do, how do, uh, how do you study the Bible? Um, or we'll actually teach certain topics like evangelism based on the Bible. And based on the, the, the actual course, the purpose of the course is to, yes, teach certain topics and go through certain characters, but it's also really geared at how to, teaching people to study on their own. In other words, teaching them to feed themselves. Um, Sundays are great. We have a Wednesday night prayer meeting. Those are great. But then they've got to learn to feed themselves Monday nights, Tuesday nights, or Monday mornings, Tuesday mornings, Wednesdays, Thursday, Friday, all the time in between. They've got to be able to learn to feed themselves. At the end of the day, they're going to stand before God. Independent of the pastors and us, they're going to stand before God and be held accountable. And so we want to make sure that we properly equip them. And that's what the in-depth uh, course does. And so that's kind of levels one and two. Now, level three, I'm going to kind of draw this dotted line here. And what that line represents is that everyone who's at this level, they can enter in by registration. Everyone at this level enters in by invitation. And this is what I mean. Not everyone is going to take these classes I'm about to talk about. Some people, their entire life cycle at Christ's Tabernacle is going to be up here. So everything is going to be up here for them. They're going to be in life groups. They're going to be in a ministry. They're going to take some courses. Then they're going to go back into a life group, continue to serve in the ministry, be in courses. And that might be their entire life cycle. Come on Sunday, serve, prayer meetings, and that's absolutely fine for them. But down here, this is where we're going to get into what we call leadership development. And so this is in-depth level two. And in level two, again, this is by invite only. This is where we teach a little bit about how do you lead teams? How do you lead volunteers? This is where we talk a lot about uh, preaching and teaching and communicating. Um, and so I'm glad that you're a faithful, you're faithful in the church, but then there's some skill sets that you need in order for you to lead at a higher level. And that's what this is all about. The last class that we have is this class uh, um, called Advanced Leaders. So in this class, you're gonna have the opportunity twice a month to be with our leadership development pastor. And this is an opportunity for him to pour into you. And he talks all about character and growth and really dealing with some of the, 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 the lessons that you learn in the journey of life. And sometimes because we wanna bypass the journey and get to the de destination, we miss out on some of the lessons. And so we're what, uh, what I would call spiritually preemies, meaning that we've gotta depend on other things in order for us to exist versus hey, God is pouring things into us and we're maturing and we're growing and so now we're at a leadership capacity. We're able to lead at a higher level. And so this is the class, the Advanced Leaders class. It's an intense class and we do it on purpose. And again, I've been asked a couple of times, hey, why isn't that class open to everyone? And the reason it's not open to everyone is because we're very selective as to who we lay our hands on. We're very careful who we say, hey, you can lead. You're a leader in this church. You can represent our pastor. You can represent our senior pastor. We're very careful with that. And so that's why we're mindful of who goes in here. That's why the scouts are so important because the scouts are constantly watching who can go to that next level. Who is it who should be invited to grow and to mature? And so that's in essence our advanced leaders uh, class. And so this entire process is our growth track. 
This is again the process that we use to go from altar to elder. Okay, so let's consider you for a second. When it comes to growing members, there are many ways. It's not one way or the highway, but you have to ensure that your process fits with the personality and culture of your church. It has to take into consideration people that are new to the church and also seasoned believers because everyone needs to be in a position to grow. It's got to connect people to the major areas of your church, whether it's small groups, ministry, or some sort of service. It has to lead them somewhere. I can't wait to hear your story. I can't wait to hear what, you, what strategies you come up with to connect your guests and to help them grow. In our next video, we're going to dig a little deeper into the top portion of the altar to elder funnel. It's called getting started. This is the first step for anyone new to our church. It's also our way of connecting people to small groups and ministry and any other major opportunities. This process has helped increase our membership and increase the amount of people joining and staying in ministry. Trust me, you do not want to miss this. I want to hear from you, so I want you to scroll down, hit the like button. Everyone loves to be liked. And add a comment. Tell me how you're going to grow people in your church. Tell me your discipleship process or growth system. If you don't have one, tell me what you'd like to see as your discipleship process. I'll be commenting and sharing some of my thoughts also. Lastly, if you have found this video helpful, share it with a friend. And so I just want to say thank you for joining me. See you next video.